Hi, my name is Igor and this is Master Pupil. Today I will tell you about an underestimated technique which helps me to deliver my sound, whether it's loud or quiet. To play loud on piccolo is not a big deal, but when it comes to quiet, it's a bit more trickier. Let's imagine this situation. It's almost silent in the concert hall and you have a couple of solo tones to play when everyone, including orchestra, is listening. But in your score you see this. <coughs> yes, it can be a little bit stressful, but I think I know how to face it with less negative emotions and enjoy music. Let's face it, our instruments are not perfect. Of course, they are polished and tuned compared to all the instruments, but still, in order to get the balanced sound, we need to compensate the design flaws. There is one magic bullet to find out what you do wrong and what you should do instead. I'm talking about whistle tones. Whistle tone is a pure harmonic of the pressed fingering. It's a tiny sound which resonates just in the labium, the entrance for airstream. You don't need any extra gear or expensive flute to give it a try. However, you will need some patience and a relaxed, quiet environment. The size of tube is kind of changing while we open or close keys. The shorter keys, tones like A, B, C, are different from fully covered tube like D and E. In order to equalize them, we need to change something. For piccolo and flute, this something would be direction of air, how the air is crossing the edge, temperature of air, if it's colder or warmer air, and the speed of air. Let's keep in mind those three parameters. I suggest you to start with one tone which comes easiest way. For example, if you take A as the main tone, the whistle tone of A should be If you will hear something different, then it means you do something wrong with your air. Whistle tone is just a tiny slice of the sound. Normal sound of piccolo or flute is actually not rich in harmonics, but it's still way richer in texture. Let's take two notes, A and E. You will hear that E is the higher harmonic of A. If we will play an A with the position for E, the tone will be too open and almost out of tune low on subharmonics and annoying. In order to, to fix that, I use whistle tones. Slow down a little bit air, try it out. Instead of... And then again... Instead of... This is your first whistle tone. Then, step by step, you should go up. And so on. My airstream is changing. Slowly, angle is opening up and in order to get the higher tone, my air is directed really higher. So, for lower tones, since we need to fill up more tube, air should be slower and warmer. Every time you go higher, semitone by semitone, your angle should open up 
and you will see the difference between each tone. Then, when I play in a normal way, I will know where to direct my airstream and what happens, because the harmonic is changing. That's why I have to change something. Always remember, relax cheeks, relax lips, also here, everything should be as relaxed as possible. If you are afraid to lose focus, you should lose it and go towards the sphere. Because squeezed lips and squeeze embouchure gives you way less colored tone, because this air is too fast, it's uncontrolled. It's way harder to control the whistle tone. That's why I suggest you to relax everything what you can. If you made mistake, repeat once again without mistake. Whistle tones are great self-analysis tool to see what happens to your airstream and what should happen in order to get the best resonation. I found that Whistle tones help me to control my tone color, intonation, ability to mix with other instruments and even dynamic span. I encourage you to make it your daily habit. I'm pretty sure it will be a lot of fun to annoy your friends with perfect whistling. <laughs>